You've now uh, you've now taken up a role as the chief scientific officer at uh, Unity Bio. So could you kind of introduce the company and, and what your role is there? Right. So I'm I'm the chief scientific advisor of uh, Unity, advisor. and yeah, and so so my role there. Um, uh, so I've I've worked with Unity for for the last uh, uh, since 2017, so last four years, um, and essentially we we were working on on identifying different mechanisms to um, inhibit or eliminate senescent cells from the retina. So uh, so that this is essentially work that is now in phase two uh, for diabetic uh, for diabetic macular edema, and um, so my role there is essentially to you know, keep keep developing new strategies for uh, synolysis in the eye and in the central nervous system. So you know, um, working with the really incredibly talented team there uh, to to try to understand uh, what what mechanisms a senescent cell triggers and how we can uh, learn from from the senescent cell survival mechanisms to design uh, drugs that kill the senescent cell. Um, and also, you know, we're trying to understand from what happens in organismal aging to, to develop uh, uh, different types of medicines that can maybe enhance uh, health span. So essentially, you know, we know that ever since it's been monitored, the maximum lifespan has always remained pretty much stable. Um, there's always been, you know, individuals at 120. Um, what really kind of increases is uh, the the average um, length of, uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, your average uh, lifespan. So um, essentially, what we want to do is uh, try to find a way to make the last, um, uh, say, decades of your life be healthy. So increase health span, so unburdened by disease. Um, so again, not to try to make people live longer, but just try to uh, avoid uh, or, or counter some of the age-related um, uh, inconveniences, if you want. Right. So Unity is doing uh, some clinical trials. At the clinical trials at the moment, you, you're in phase two, right, with, with the I1. And Correct. So uh, can you... Talk about what the next steps with that would be. Right. Yeah. So we're we're just actually now starting the phase two for diabetic macular edema, um, and so you know we've gotten some some interesting uh, evidence uh, for for the drug in the the first uh, phase one trial, and so we're really moving that through uh, through the clinical trials and 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 hoping to. Uh, to obtain FDA approval, you know, in a couple of years, once we're, we're done, uh, the pivotals. <laughs> mm. And um, from there, you know, we're, we're looking, um, you know, because of how promising this phase one trial was, we're, um, we're doing a, a couple of different things. One is we're trying to see, you know, what other senescence related mechanisms can be um, interfered with um, to obtain, you know, parallel effects to what we're seeing with the UBX 1325. Uh, so that's one thing we're doing. Um, and then other things we're doing beyond um, uh, the diabetic retinopathy trial is we're, we're trying to see if there's other age-related or adjacent biologies um, to senescence that, that also get triggered with age or with, with diabetes that we can learn from and design um, drugs to prefer to, to preserve uh, vascular homeostasis in, in the eye. Right. Interesting. Thank you. So just to, uh, finally, um, could you share what is your personal protocol? What are the things that you do to keep yourself healthy? Okay. So, yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting question. So I think, you know, there, um, in terms of what I do is probably not always uh, the, the healthiest, but I can certainly give, uh, you know, give, give an opinion on what I'd like to do. So, so I think, you know, as, uh, as, as the whole, you know, field of, of aging and, and the literature around healthy living is, is starting to, uh, to kind of come to, to consensus on different ways of, uh, of living your life. I think 
to me, one of the things that I wish I had more of is, is sleep, you know? So I think certainly um, there's a, a big link to neurodegenerative diseases and, and sleep patterns. Um, and I think now we kind of understand a bit how that works, you know? So um, the, the brain doesn't have a, a, a drainage system, you know, like a, a typical lymphatic system. So apparently when you sleep, you actually have, you know, elimination of a, a lot of the uh, kind of toxic metabolites and so on. So I think this is something, you know, with, with, um, with the modern lifestyle that, that tends to, to take the back door. So, so I certainly think that's a very important um, uh, kind of part of your natural hygiene that should, <laughs> that should be incorporated into everyone's uh, uh, living standards. Now, the, the other ones are, of course, you know, eating well and being active, um, monitoring vascular, uh, vascular symptoms. So, so essentially, you know, in, ensuring that your cardiovascular uh, health is, is, is well. So, you, you, you know, having high blood pressure is uh, actually one of the main predictors of a lot of neurodegenerative diseases, you know, or it's a, it's a very, uh, you know, in terms of one of the main, it's, 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 it's a major predictor of, of uh, brain health. So, so I think this is another thing and that kind of falls into, you know, the good diet and the active lifestyle. So I think those are, that's kind of the, the triad of things that, that I try to do in that you know, certainly don't succeed on all of them, but, but try to keep them in the mix. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. And monitoring your, um, your blood pressure. That's, that's good. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's, that's a critical one that we don't, I think maybe do enough. Uh, yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for your time and, and for sharing your knowledge with us today. Could you tell people where they can find more about uh, you and the work you're doing both at, I guess, University of Montreal and at, uh, Right, absolutely. So, um, so we we have a, a, a website uh, that's uh, setpiehalab.com. So that's the the University of Montreal group, um, or you know um, these days unitybiotechnology.com is uh, is another place where um, that translational work is. Okay, so Dr. Zabia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. So it's a pleasure being on your show. Thank you. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon. <music>